Let's talk about creating a nice modeled background for a painting. Here's an example that I created for my hydrangeas in um, cobalt blue vase. And I have nice variations going on in the greens as a background for this painting. It's much more interesting here uh, than a solid color would be. And it gives you kind of the effect that maybe there's some uh, greenery softly in the background, but it's not distinct at all. I'll move that and I want to show you my roller. I really like this roller. It's a four inch roller I get from Lowe's or Home Depot. It's very dense foam and it's very nice to uh, roll. I don't like the little short ones that have a lot of open texture to them. This one we can get new rollers for the uh, handle and you just slip them on there and it'll roll nicely for you. I have just a practice sheet here. This is just a, a sheet of canvas paper and I thought we would do some greens and I have a medium value green, I have a light green and I have a dark green. So we'll use these to create our background. I'm shaking my painting, my paint up, okay, and I'm going to drizzle it onto my canvas. Now we'll do just mostly a uh, solid to start with, and when you start with your roller, you want to go in the direction of your drizzle. You don't want to go across it. If I rolled across it, I would end up with a stripe. And then as it rolled, I would have stripe, 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 stripe going across. But if I go in the direction the paint is, you see that it goes all the way around my roller. And I can pick the paint up and then start going in different directions. And I'm going to roll this out as far as it'll go. And then we'll add some more. Again, I want to go in the direction that the drizzle goes. And then I'm rolling in all kinds of different directions here. I want to cover the entire canvas. Pick that up. Now, I could let this dry and do it all over again and make sure I have really good coverage on my canvas. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and just drizzle a little bit more of my medium value. And in the upper left, I'm going to add some of the light color. And in the lower right, I'm going to add some dark. So again, I'm going with the direction. It really didn't matter if I started with the light or the dark, but I'm rolling in all directions. And I'm gonna start working toward the other edge. Rolling, trying to roll with the direction I put that drizzle out. And I'm rolling in different directions here. Now the secret is to stop before I think I should. So I think I'm going to stop right there. You can see that we have a nicely modeled background and I'll tighten in a little bit for you. You can see there's still um, some marks and streaks in the background. If I continue to roll, it's going to just be one color. So I want to stop before I think I should. Now I can come back 
when this dries and adjust it. And there's some places right now that I feel like, oh, I want to fix that. But if I go into that, let me move this over just a little bit. See over here? Now you see that just created another spot. If I keep rolling, I'm going to lose all my lights. I could come back and work just a little bit more light. But sometimes you have to know when to stop. Okay, and I'm going to stop right there. I like the color variations. And um, I'm going to let it dry. If um, I want to adjust it, I can come back. I could roll it all over again if I really didn't like what I had. Or I could pre-dampen and I could use my brush and come back and uh, finish modeling with some paint on my brush on a pre-dampened background. We'll stop right here and I'll show you the brush on another video.